Step 1. Check your system requirements. First things first. Make sure your PC actually meets the requirements to run DirectX 12. Final Fantasy 7. Rebirth uses DX12 for better graphics performance, and not all systems are equipped to handle it. Here's what you need to check. Windows 10 or 11, 64-bit. DX12 requires at least Windows 10. DirectX 12 compatible graphics. Card, this includes NVIDIA's RTX series or AMD's RX series and newer. Latest GPU drivers. Make sure you're running the latest drivers for your graphics card. If your system doesn't meet these requirements, unfortunately, you won't be able to use DirectX 12. But don't worry, I'll show you another way to get around the issue. Step 2. Update your graphics drivers. Next up, graphics drivers. Having outdated drivers is one of the main causes of the DX12 is not supported error. To fix this, you'll need to update your GPU drivers. For NVIDIA users, go to the NVIDIA website or open the GeForce Experience app to download the latest drivers. For AMD users, head over to the AMD website and get the latest drivers for your card. Once you've installed the latest drivers, Restart your PC and see if that resolves the issue. Step 3. Enable DirectX 12 in the game's settings. If your system supports DirectX 12, but you're still getting the error, it's possible that it's not enabled in the game settings. Let me show you how to switch it on manually. Open the game's graphics settings menu. Look for the DirectX version setting. Change it to DirectX 12 if it's not already selected. Apply the changes and restart the game. Sometimes, DirectX itself can get corrupted, causing issues. To fix this, you'll need to reinstall DirectX 12. Step 4. Go to the Microsoft DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer page. Download and install the tool. Follow the on-screen instructions to repair or reinstall DirectX. Once the installation is complete, restart your PC and launch the game again to check if the error has been fixed. 